we'll start again. So if you can tell us who you are. I'm Lauren Lee. I'm the Senior Collection Development Librarian for BroadArt. And what is BroadArt? BroadArt is a library company. We have multiple divisions serving libraries. I'm from the Books and Automation Division, where we provide materials and the services that go along with those materials. But we also have a supplies division, which is actually how the company started with what's now called the Mylar Book Jacket. Arthur Brody invented that in 1939. And then we also have a custom furniture division that's now called BroadArt Creative. So we do everything a library needs. So what, so in terms of collection development, what type of things does BroadArt offer libraries? Well, we have a collection development department that gets involved any time that a customer requests assistance in deciding which titles to buy. I'm going to focus on books because primarily we, we do print with some spoken word and some DVD, but I'll, I'll use the book as my, my noun for you. So libraries can set up customized profiles that tell, the, tell us what types of new books they're interested in, um, if they want books from specific review journals or on particular subjects or from particular authors. They do a custom profile. We provide lists on a regular basis. Or on the flip side, um, if they're building a new library, we provide the lists of everything they need to open that new library from picture books through large print, um, systematically cover the needs of that collection. Um, we help our marketing department produce lists. We'll do flyers on topics. We'll do an urban literature flyer or a green guide or uh, chiclet, uh, Spanish titles, graphic novels. Um, we select the titles that are then published and shared you know, to our, our customer libraries. Okay, what type of libraries does Broadart work with in terms of collection development? Primarily with public libraries. That, that is the, the lion's share uh, of our customers. We do work with some school libraries, some community colleges. On our one product line, which is McNaughton uh, subscription services, you might be familiar with that for adult bestseller materials. Those do go in more types of libraries. Some academic libraries use them for recreational reading or military bases uh, or special libraries. But public libraries are really uh, the heart of our customer base. Okay, and within that variety of libraries, do you see a difference in things they're asking for, let's say the community college library versus the public library, or are they asking for pretty much the same thing? Often the same thing at the community college level. I think where it would differ would be the four-year or the graduate program university, and there we're mostly providing the popular reading rather than uh, their primary collection. So we work with children's materials, adult materials, fiction, nonfiction, uh, and that serves public schools and community colleges. Okay. Um how was the relationship managed between BroadArt and a library? I mean, do you have a contract? Is it word of mouth? A little of both. I mean, there are libraries that do go out to bid and we respond to the bid and win the contract. In other cases, our sales force will talk to them and we'll make a proposal with uh, pricing information. Uh, but it can also be informal. I mean, if you want to set up an account with us and start ordering books, um, you can certainly do that. If you want the collection development services, then you probably will start talking to one of our collection development staff members. We have uh, librarians both in-house in Pennsylvania and also off-site selectors that work for us. And so one of those people would be getting in touch with you to discuss your specific needs. So what would be that process? So, I'm a library, I want your collection development to help me select my opening day collection. So take us through the steps of what that looks like. Okay. We would do a profile form that we would customize to what we already knew about your needs. I mean, we would want to know 
rough size of the collection, what areas to be covered. So we would we would come up with our outline of uh, a discussion. So we would come in, sit down with your staff, interview you. We always start with the community description. Um, what is you know who are you serving here? Who do you want to come in the doors at this library? Tell us about their demographics. Then tell us what your goals are. What kind of collection are you trying to provide? Is it all popular materials? Is it homework support? Um, is there a special emphasis on a particular area? You know, what, what is your vision for the collection? We like to read your selection policy if you have one or your collection development plan. Um, if you have any documents you can give us, strategic plans or mission statements, we want to know all that too. Then we get to a much more nitty-gritty level. What uh, collection categories do you want to cover? We walk through all of those categories. How do you, you know, do you have picture books? How do you define picture books? Do you call it young adult or teen? Um, does it include fiction and nonfiction? Um, we walk through every category and make sure that we understand what you mean when you say this is what we put in the library. We talk about your bind preferences, if you want to set any guidelines for publication dates to cover, if you have any preferences for awards lists or review journals or popularity factor, if you have any local reading lists. Uh, we want you to describe to us what you're looking for so that we can go back to our system use our title database and all of our various access points, you know, the, whether it's age range, classification, subject heading, binding, or uh, citations, or sales. We use all those factors then to pull together a list for you. The size of your collection and your budget is very important. So if I'm doing a list for a library that wants a thousand adult fiction titles in a rural community. That list is going to be very different from a library in a big city that wants 10,000 adult fiction titles. So size and community affects how we pull the titles together for your selection list. What sources are you using for reviews of materials? Well, we index all the major review journals, um, Library Journal, School Library Journal, Publishers Weekly, Booklist, Hornbook, Kirkus. Um, I think we have 11 right now that we index and provide full text for, so that when we give you your list, you're looking at it online, you can also read those full text reviews if you need to. Nice. What does Brodot offer in terms of processing for those materials? Well, that's another area of specialty for us. So we help you on the front end with the selection and on the back end by providing shelf-ready books. We have two levels of service for cataloging, one that is a more automated uh, process, but still somewhat customized. You can tell us if you want your spine labels to say, F or FIC or fiction, how many characters of the author's name you want you know, on the spine label, or you can go to the highest level of customization where we're actually working live in your database using your cataloging guidelines and we're doing book in hand cataloging for you. So either way you want to go, we can give you a high quality cataloging record and then the physical processing that matches that.